Hey everybody, it's Freeze Air again. Welcome back to the second episode, or rather, welcome back to Little Monster. Second episode. In the last episode, we started the game. And we kind of got sidetracked in Gemrock, because I sort of suck at it. And in this episode, we're going to go back to Gemrock and attempt to win the mini game there. And hopefully get some delicious gems. Mmm, gems. Now there's a couple things you may notice. First thing, excuse me, that you may notice is that our monster's name is different. Oh my. Its name is now Elpy. Yes, really, I did go there. And while I didn't explain this last episode, the way you do this is you go to your stat screen, and you press start. And look, you can rename your monster, and it's lovely. However, be careful when you do this, for when you do, it causes your love to drop way, way down. As you can see by the fact that our love is now 13. It used to be 14, but if you sit around, unfortunately, your love does drop because your monster feels like you're ignoring it. So let's go to that gem rock and hopefully attempt to win it some. Mmm, no. Don't like you. Oh, and I finally figured out how to pronounce his name, by the way. I think it's supposed to be Roxke. Kind of like the Japanese name Yosuke, but a pun on rocks. Eh, <laughs> see, I'm all smart. I, I figure things out. We have to find someone we can do this. Blah 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 blah. I don't even know if I'll be keeping this in. Oh, come on, where's the stuns? Stun me. That'll do. This will do indeed. Do you want to play Jamrock? Yes, I do, Roxke. Alright, come on, baby. Mama needs a new pair of shoes. Come on, baby. Mama needs a new pair of shoes. Nope. Not even going for shoes. I don't really need a new pair of shoes. I actually have a fairly new pair of sneakers in real life. And I'm not the sort of person who keeps like a million different shoes. I'm not fond of shoes as an article of clothing. I'm much more of a shirts person. I own some very stylish shirts, or at least they're stylish in my mind. Actually, you know what? Let's do this one because some of the items here... We can, in fact, get another gem here that's very useful. See the one that's sort of shaped like a shield? That's a square gem. Square gems are different from circle gems. Uh, circle gems, you have to use them to attack. But with square gems, as soon as they come into your hand, they start having an effect. And you can leave them in their, your hand and keep the effect. But if you use them, they don't typically do any damage. Maybe I'll get the 100 coins. That'd be nice. Oh, so short. No! Come on, one more chance. One more chance! No. I need snake eyes to get that. Well, looks like I'm gonna be... No! Uh, sorry about that. Had to stop the cat from scratching sofas, which she is not supposed to scratch. <laughs> anyway. I think I'll be doing a bit more grinding. Trying to get some more uh, money for gems, so... You know what? I'll just... See you back at Gemrock. Won't even show you me buying things, just back at Gemrock. That's where we'll be. Mmm! Level up! I think I will keep that in, or at least stick it in somewhere. Yeah, level up again. Ooh, I gained 10 HP that time. Mmm. <coughs> Delicious coughingness. Sadly, not coffee, just coughingness. Okay, now I really will see you back at Gemrock. Okay, I really am back now. And you know what the awesome thing about breaks like that is? I can eat snacks while I'm on microphone, I guess. And nobody will care about my crunching noises, because you're not going to hear them. Ha ha! Not with this layout, we don't. Come on. Here we go. Let's go for that second one. Woo! I know the rules. Oh, good job. You got a prize. Got a beef can. The prizes we offer are always changing. Yes, they are. Actually, that's pretty a good thing. Pretty a good thing. Hmm. I'm speaker of good words. Because this beef can is basically a high-level healing item. But if we give it to a monster, it seems like he wants you to follow him. Yes, indeed. This opens up a new area. This opens up Este Salon. Ooh. Welcome to Este Salon. Ten coins for a monster diet. 
exercise. Now, basically, as you might have guessed from that little chart on the background here, this is where your monster can go to lose weight. It will do a series of 10 exercises. The more it loves you, the more exercises it will do correctly, and every time it doesn't exercise correctly, it loses one pound. So obviously, if you have full loyalty 100%, you could potentially lose 10 pounds. This is very useful, of course, you know, like, one pound is like the fastest monster you could have, I'm sure we could make debates about this game promoting monster anorexia, but let's not go there. We're not going to exercise right now because LP's loyalty is a bit too low. Oh, that's too bad. Come again. Hmm, maybe I should give the salon person, like, a snooty French accent. Oh well, back to Gemrock. Ooh, that looks good. Yes, please. Please? No. Well, let's try and get that hundred coins, see what we can do. Nope. Disappointing. You can, in fact, go around one board if you keep playing. Oh, any luck at this? Whoa, I kind of screwed that up. No, I don't. I don't need more beef cans. Not at this stage. I don't need your beef. I don't need to know where the beef is. It's right here, and I don't want it. Actually, let's try and get that hundred coins. Please. No. I don't want to go all around the board and spend all the money to get that stun gem we started out on. Not here, either. Please don't say the entire episode is this. Alright, let's try and get this one. Come on, five. Fives! Give baby- Yeah! Good job! You got a prize! Got a stun gem! Come again! The prizes we offer are always changing. Stun gems are awesome! We're going to put it in our deck right now, and I haven't actually shown off the deck building screen in this, so let's go! Deck building screen looks like this. As you can see, we have four of most gems, except down here we have two needles and two heels. But anyway, stun gems! Why are stun gems so special? Because when you use a stun gem, the opponent gets paralyzed. They cannot make a move until you attack them once again. And of course, you know, paralysis. It means you're free. You don't take damage that turn. And I usually have four of these, but just for this starting thing, we're going to put this one in here. And you know what the awesome thing about putting the stun gem is? It also means we get a needle back in our inventory. Now, clutch gems, when you set them, the only thing they give you is hebos. It's hebos from now until hereafter. But when you set other gems, you get other monsters. And most gems don't actually create the monster... Let me rephrase that. When you set most gems, the monster that is summoned to fight you isn't usually the monster that is also made by that gem. So you get nice little chains of different monsters and discovering them and getting different gems, and it's really, really neat. So this needle gem we have now can now introduce us to a new monster friend. Mmm, I was gonna say let's go do that in Tan Field, but we're still not quite done with Gemrock. I do want another stun. So let's use this noodle needle this let's use this noodle. Yes, noodle sounds like a particularly epic attack. And see who we fight. <gasps> it's a kitty! Oh, it's a cute little kitty. Come on, cute little kitty. Do you wanna die? I know you do. Come here so we can kick you in the face. Bam! Oh dear. See what I mean? That flash is just like stun. It can paralyze you. As you can see from the little PL, it means paralyzed. Fortunately, this monster, Pocky, is it a crispy cookie coated in delicious chocolate? It has a lot of clutch gems in its deck too, because it's, you know, mid-level monster and they don't want you getting beat up this early in the game. And we especially don't want to get beat up because if your monster gets defeated, they lose a lot of love for you. But yay! Pocky was defeated! We gained three experience this time! Woo! We were moving on up! We finally got a piece of the experience pie. And as you can see, the gem it dropped was definitely not Needle, it was a catcher! So... I don't know, should I make that catcher in the ride joke? Should I make a baseball catcher joke? I don't know, but when we fight it, it's an alien. It kinda looks like a Teletubby cross with a Pikmin. But no, this monster is... Elias! And Elias has some square gems in his deck for, like, the first time. Actually, Hebos have them too, that is not quite correct. And it looks like I might die here. Yeah, perhaps that wasn't the wisest decision. We are gonna have such low loyalty. Yeah... I guess we could if we wanted to turn it into the needle monster, but you know, I kinda wanna keep going on this particular track, and oh, since we lost to the monster, it means we lost the gem we set, so we have to get another one of those catcher gems. Hmm. 
I sense this is going bad places already. You know, I'll see you back here in a little bit. I got some things I want to do. Okay, I'm back. Hope that didn't scare you too much. While I was off screen, I did quite a lot of things. I battled some more monsters. I got some more gems, and I actually got another stun gem in Gem Rock from Roxke. See, see, here it is in my deck. Er, here it is in my deck. Woo! Unfortunately, a fat lot of good it is doing me right now because my HP is so low and I have barely any love. But I would like to show something off to you. While I was off screen, I picked up a can, and I'm going to give it its monster, and it doesn't interest the monster. I'm going to give it its monster, and it doesn't interest the monster. But one of you monsters, please be interested in this so I can show off what happens. It's an empty can! The monster gave you a coin! Yay! And not just a coin, but in fact, they give you ten coins. So you have a lot of delicious coininess. Now, before we go on with the game, I would like to attempt to win something else from Gemrock. I don't know how well this is going to go, but I'm going to see if I can pick up a bag of 100 coins from them. Uh, I gotta find one with 100 coins on it first. Actually, you know what? No. I don't want to screw around with it. Oof. This episode's gotten so long already, but I don't know how much of it is stuff I'm actually gonna use, because so much has been cut out. Blah. I would like to show me fighting some of the new monsters, but unless I can get my HP up, they're just gonna kick my bus repeatedly. Well, I guess I should buy some food for my monster. I mean, geez, not like monsters usually need to eat or anything. My corn can. Corn can is the second highest level healing item. It will heal your monster a lot. It will also give them a significant more amount of love. Ooh, lovely. See, it gave us five love. And heal their HP about... Mm, about 50-ish? Yeah, about 50-ish. So, now perhaps... Now we can take on that fiend Elias! Correction, we are not going to take on that fiend Elias because our love is still way too low. Yeah, it's an unfortunate thing that in the early stages of this game, love is kind of a... Love kind of determines a lot of things. And if your love gets way too low... Bumped into the mic there. I am sorry. When you're going to have a hard time winning battles, and if you can't win battles, you can't get money. And just make sure you keep that clutch gem around so you always have something easy to fight. Like so. Ooh, healing is good, though. I could heal myself up to my full levels of HP. <sighs> I think what I'm probably going to do is off-screen, I am going to do some fighting and some other ways to attempt to get my love up much higher, because in Tanfield, spoiler alert, there is kind of a boss. And that boss is actually pretty tough. But, thankfully for all involved, we are hopefully going to have a better equipped deck by then. I really don't know how long this episode is going to be, but the recording is getting very long. So I think I'm going to stop it here. So, bye one and all. See you soon.